They're the only industry in this country that has that kind of immunity. That is an outright lie. Welcome back to the program, Dana Lash here with you. That was the president last night and his speech on gun control. And it's an absolute ridiculous lie. He's specifically, I mean, first off, they're not immune to liability from defective products, defective manufacturing. He wants to repeal, it's called the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. And so what it is, is that if you are, it, it for some reason, I don't even know why it was necessary to even have this, but it is apparently because it just says, it re, reaffirms what I just said. Because so many people try to sue firearms manufacturers for criminals illegally using their product, like if somebody drunk, drunk drives drunk, like you know, Beto, like Irish Bob, Beto or work, and you know, what if it, his drunk driving had resulted in fatalities? Then it, it's like the same as suing an automobile manufacturer. The Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act simply states that you know, firearm manufacturers they can be held liable like every other entity out there, every other manufacturer for defective products or misleading advertising things like that but you can't you can't sue them for what criminals choose to do with their products because then what are you going to sue Budweiser for drunk driving or the vehicle manufacturer for the vehicle I mean that's the thing he's he's it's an outright lie an absolute complete and total lie Furthermore, not only is it false, but they're no more shielded from liability, because he tweeted this too, than any other manufacturer for liability from defective products. But you know who isn't shielded? You know who you know who who is actually shielded from liability? Big Pharma. Now, if he was talking about big pharma then that would be accurate i've actually written about this it's uh it's a really really difficult process in fact legally any kind of claims for vaccine injury are capped and there's a tiny little fund where people can uh they can i think it's only in the past 10 years i think it's or no past 20 years i think it's like three or four times it's only ever paid out for injuries due to to vaccines so all the and and that's they are actually shielded so his point is false he's he's making he's lying this is a lie he's just outright lying this is all there is to it